our spiritual life on this earth, Supreme Master Ching Hai teaches us the highest method, the Kuan Yin method, which will enable our souls to be liberated from the cycle of birth and death. And in our daily life, a Supreme Master Ching Hai reminds us to live a meaningful saint's life in purity and compassion. She shares with us the art of cooking vegetarian cuisine so that we may bring a warm and loving atmosphere to our families and friends. Vegetarian cuisine is not only nutritious but also helps our consciousness to be in harmony with nature and filled with love for all beings in the universe. Supreme Master Ching Hai encourages and promotes vegetarianism as the noble way of living. She personally designed the Alternative Living Flyer and launched a global campaign to share this peaceful and loving message to the world. If we want to truly lead a life of love thy neighbor, the neighbors, including our animal friends, especially they harm us in no way. They only beautify our life and they are loving and they make our life more lively, colorful and interesting. We should preserve them, watch them, love them, enjoy their presence. God has made it clear, he said, I made all the animals to befriend you and help you. Through her teachings, millions of people have become vegetarians or are changing their ways of thinking in regards to the sentient nature of our animal friends. With heartfelt gratitude, we sincerely thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for setting aside her precious time to share with us these wonderful vegetarian dishes and easy cooking tips. We invite you to join us on Between Master and Disciples for a gift of love, simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai, featuring summer ice popsicles, vegan ham and cantaloupe, and simple seaweed wrap. Hello there. Today, it's a cold eating day, raw food day. Well, almost. So everything is raw, <laughs> almost, except for the vegan, ready-made ham, and the ready-made uh, seaweed. Yeah, you can buy them in supermarket, a health food store. And so we're going to make three kind of things today. The summer popsicle natural popsicle, huh? and uh, second is the vegan ham with the uh, cantaloupe, or if you don't have honey melon, and the third one is a uh, simple seaweed wrap, okay? Today, no cooking. So I'm going to make first the popsicle, so I can put it in the deep freeze. The children will love it because it tastes like soapy, like ice cream, but it's all natural and simple to make. So, all we do is the simple stuff. You see, their favorite fruit, yeah. even orange, you can peel them yeah, and make them into small rings. I find that small knives is more <laughs> easy to use and is versatile. So I'm going to peel the orange. So we're going to slide them into three pieces, or four, or two. <laughs> Depends on how big you like it. And then you just Put them on a stick here, like this. And be careful with the knife, okay? Very 
very gentle. You could have one more, I don't know. Ah, you can have thinner stick here. I don't have, so I use the chopsticks. <laughs> Korean, you can always use it for anything. The next is some pear, peach, watermelon, banana, yes. Here. So, here. I have two. Two peach. Put them together there. Banana. Ha. You can put the whole banana on it or just half of it is fine. Mm. It tastes really very good after it's been frozen. Yes. You'll be surprised. The children will be surprised how delicious it is. This one we need a big knife. Okay, you cut it thick enough. Cut the watermelon into a slice thick enough to make it like a popsicle. Take away the skin, huh? Yeah. Okay, and then we cut it like this. Try to take away the the seed. Mm. You can also eat it, but it might not feel that smooth, you know. <laughs> you want it smooth, so you take away the seed. Yeah. Okay. And put the stick right in the middle of it. Put this far enough so that it will not fall or break, okay? At least two thirds of it. One other one here, take the seed away, and cut it into the popsicle size. It doesn't have to be this tall and this big. <laughs> it can be also half size. Yeah, the seeds are gone. Put in the stick. There. Voila. And so here. Think about making your own uh, popsicle, ice cream, is that you know what you get. Yeah, You don't worry about whether it is clean or not. Take away the seed, hey? You can use a more professional, but I just do this, it's very simple. So you don't have to have so many stuff in the kitchen, you know? Here, yeah, Hamid. Have it. Got it. So here. There you are. Here, yeah, Hamid. Here, Benny. Enjoy. I can give you some more little, some more, more ice popsicle. <laughs> you see the dogs? They love ice cream. But uh, some ice cream have eggs, you never know. So it's better you make it with fruit. My dogs love fruit popsicle. Or fruit sorbet. You know the way we made it last time? They love to eat them. In summer, they also love to crunch into ice cream. <laughs> like vegetarian bone. My goodness, can you believe that? So what I do is I give them ice cream into the water to make the water cool. Also, I put some water in the fridge to keep it cool before giving it to them in summer day or summer afternoon. It's hot, so they love it very much. And they even fish out the cubes on the water to eat it, and they crunch it like vegetarian bone. They love it so much. Okay, we're done with all the popsicle. Look, they are like this, see? And we're going to put it in the deep freeze now. And after a couple of hours, more or less, then it's ready. You can live in the fridge much longer.
but it just become harder. And when you take it out, you leave it for 10, 20, 30 minutes, and it becomes just nice for you to eat. You take it out when it's soft enough for you to eat, then it'll be fine. Okay, we're going to make the uh, vegan ham and melon. <laughs> okay, so we'll cut the melon. I like to use small knife, maybe because I'm small, eh? <laughs> it seems easier to manage. Okay, and take away the inside, the seat. Make it clean looking. Mm -hmm. Cut some outside the round shape. Just look nice. Take away the skin. It's better if you leave them in the refrigerator first for a few hours or for a while, you know, until it's cool. It's better if it's cool in summer. Just look better without seat, otherwise, you know, it won't hurt you. Hmm? It's good for you also, the seat. Chinese people make watermelon seeds, other kind of melon seeds to eat in New Year. So it's supposed to be lucky. They even dye it red so that it look even luckier. Put the peyote in and just put the vegan ham on it. They are already very, very nicely done. Yeah. All you do is just roll it. I try to economize and save a little bit, but uh, if it doesn't roll well, you just put a toothpick through it and then it will roll well. Just for nice looking. Yeah. Otherwise, it's okay. It tastes just the same. Wow, that. Hmm? Roll it. Yeah. Children will love this. And we don't have to cook all the time, eh? Right? Save electricity. Yeah. There are many things ready made nowadays. And uh, we enjoy it. Mm. There, it looks okay now. Looks good. Just stand it there. Can you squeeze them together a little bit, you know? Stick them together to make them stand. Okay? It will look like this. Okay, next we make the simple seaweed wrap. Okay. One, two, three, five. First we prepare the carrot. Yeah. Cut the carrot into a thin Thin uh, slice, yeah, long side, like that. You don't have to cut like this, you can just chop it in four pieces and cut it short, it's maybe easy. Whatever way you do, as long as you can bite them, <laughs> I think it should be okay. Yeah, we slide them into small and thin slice like this. Or if make it easy for you, you make it short and slide them just as soon. Slide. Voila. Careful with Hannah. Don't let children do this, okay? Just you adults and be very careful. There. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, and some little color. Good. Yeah, okay. Good. The cucumber. Leave them aside here. Yeah. And we also cut cucumber like that. You don't have to take away the skin. You don't want to. You can also. Yeah, but you need 
everything is good. And half it. Yeah, had it here smaller. Okay, half of the slides. Cut it. You don't have to cut it very thin. Just thin enough. There you are. This crunchy one is not too thin. Yeah? is crunchy with the skin. Right. This is all we need, actually. But you could also put the celery, yeah, if you have celery. I don't have it today. <laughs> uh, I think my people used it all today before I get a chance to come to it. Anyway, so we put the carrot. Yeah. If it's not long enough, you add a little bit, a little piece to make it long. And cucumber, just a long side, as long as it's long enough for the sushi. And you sprinkle a little bit of the mushroom powder on it. Mushroom powder, this is special made with seaweed in it, yeah? Mm. If you cannot buy, you can order from Loving Food, our company. And sprinkle it on like that. This is the shitei, mushroom ground it together with a uh, little sesame and seaweed. Mm. You can buy them in Chinese shopping. It's like powder. Yeah? It's like this. It's in a packet. And it can keep for a long time. And then we also put a little optional, okay? You can put this, the ginger, right on to it, or you, you keep it aside in case somebody else doesn't like it, and you don't want it. Yeah. And to know what your family likes. And then you put a little rice that you cooked left over yesterday. <laughs> left over rice is better because it's cold. It's just nice. Yeah. But not from the fridge, eh? When you cook rice, you can keep it for one day without refrigeration. And now you just roll it. I don't have the professional tool, don't matter. The cucumber and the carrot look very, very, very good. Before that, you put a little water in it. Always clean. Right. I have a bottle of water here. Too big, but you can use more water. Spray a little bit on top of the edge. Yeah. Uh, there you are. So it's going to stick together like this. It's going to be like this, baby. Look good, no? Yeah. Because the cucumber and the carrot keep it straight and round. So you don't have to use the tatami type of roll. You know, the Japanese style. This is more simple, easy. In case you don't have all the instrument that you need, you can always make it. Make another one. This time we can put the little onions and coriander. It doesn't have to be all the same. It can be with varieties. We make the next one. Also put carrot. It's the long side of it. As long as the, the seaweed plate. And put some onion on it. Put as much only as you think you can bear. Eh? <laughs> you know, onion is always very pleasant to many people. This one, we don't put ginger. We sprinkle the Sit a ground mushroom, about a tablespoon. And you put some coriander on it. Yeah. Coriander, yeah. Nice. Okay. And then put your rice on. This one. 
cold breath on the rice and I have to reheat it. I have to cook it again. And it tastes just fine. Okay, there we are. Hold it back. Hold it again. Hold it very tight. First you you hold the edge very tight and then you roll it like that. Okay. Always get a bowl of water ready to wipe your hand because the rice will be sticky. And then you spray a little water on the edge. Or you can have a, a bowl of water nearby and use your finger to wet the edge. Seaweed. You gotta really wet it well, otherwise it doesn't stick. There. Another one, we put it there. We can make more and more, so on and so forth. This is the red ginger. Ginger uh, in vinegar. <laughs> it looks pink. Not really red. Pink for love. <laughs> but it's uh, sharp, eh? You be careful with it. Just sprinkle, well, a tablespoon more or less on it again. Don't worry, it, it will be fine if you put a little bit more or a little bit less. There you go. I think we spray the water first so that it gets softened. By the time we roll it, it's ready. We hold the edge tight and hold it to the carrot and ginger. Yeah. And then just roll it over. There you are. See? Perfect. Just like this. Very, very nice. Perfectly done. No problem. See? Easy. <laughs> No instrument needed. We put it aside there. For time being. See how it looks? Yeah. There's still some rice left from the bowl, so I make one more. The thing about the seaweed, there are two sides to it. You buy the one that is made for the sushi. It's really easy to cut. It has some already lying alongside. It's easier for you to cut into smaller pieces, yeah? And also, there are two sides to it. One side is a little rough. That's the inside, a little rough. And outside is uh, smooth, yeah? If you prefer it uh, shiny, then you leave it outside. Or if you prefer it uh, not too shiny, <laughs> then then you leave the smooth side in. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now put some onion on it. Yeah. You don't have to put onion, okay? Some people don't like onion, and I don't blame them. This ginger or not ginger is up to you. Mm -hmm. You can buy this in supermarket everywhere. It's made for sushi. It's not always made in Japan, huh? They make it everywhere nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Mushroom, shite, ground, shite, mushroom, mushroom. Okay. About one tablespoon, one to two tablespoons. And the rice left over from yesterday. Yeah, I keep repeating <laughs> in case you missed the first part. You can prepare immediately. This is a not cooking day, yeah? Use whatever cold left over, it's fine. Okay, hold on to the edge. Spritz water. There. Voila. Always look good. No problem at all. Mm -hmm. Good. Now we need to cut it. Okay. We use a small knife with a little 
teeth so like a knife. This is a little too big, but you can use also, you see? It looks like a saw, it's better. It cuts smoother, that's all. Okay. Cut it into bite sides. There. Put it there like that. Can you cut it? When you cut, you hold your finger, okay? Yeah. Right. The index finger in one side and the other on one side. So so that both of the side will not break. So the slide you cut will not break because the row will be stable. And both of the side that you cut are stable. Yeah, that's what it is. Just a common, you know, kitchen knife with a little saw edge. That would do. Wow, so easy. Uh, maybe the edge will break a little bit, but it doesn't matter. You be careful with it, okay? And transfer into the plate gently. It will still taste good even if it breaks. <laughs> when you break it a little bit, see if it still tastes good or not. <laughs> I think it would taste good, just the same. You cut it uh, slowly, like the way you saw wood, okay? Let's do it like this. And not cut it down because it will flatten your, your, your roll and it won't look good, that's all. Eh? You cut it slowly, a saw-like manner, you know, Back and forth, back and forth, then it will look nice. It won't break. And arrange on the plate, uh, whatever way you like. I think it does look nice here, so it would look nice with you. Uh, clean the plate a little if it's a little messy. Don't worry, just use a kitchen towel and clean it up. Dark it away. Because the thing that is running around, maybe the mushroom powder, something like that. Yeah, okay. They look good in yeah. family style, you know? There. Yeah. Now we prepare some sauce. Okay. Mostly people use, uh, you know, Japanese green mustard. And if you don't have green mustard, you put yellow mustard. It's fine. Green mustard has a special taste. It's very nice. And soy sauce. You can put it direct on the mustard or you can put it aside. So people who doesn't like mustard doesn't have to taste it, okay? <laughs> but they can try. I'm sure it's nice. When I first tried mustard, I didn't really like it because it feels very, very sharp. But later on, I really like it. It's okay. I mean, the Japanese mustard is very sharp. Remember, we didn't put ginger in some of the row, or at least one of the rows, so we put ginger aside here in case some people like it and they can add it onto it. Ginger is good for you. Help digestion. Uh, help to alleviate the cold. And help uh, you to taste good. There are many other medicinal properties of ginger. You can uh, do research about it. You know, some people also like ketchup with it. You can put also ketchup. Welcome to the dining. <laughs> okay, today, cold day, okay? <laughs> no cooking. 
<laughs> well, cheating. You know, there's some cooking. There already somebody else cooked. So, okay, this is the, the pink one, yeah? It's uh, melon and uh, vegan ham. Normally people eat it with real ham. I don't like it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I create this version of uh, melon and vegan ham. It will be delicious, just the same. We don't have to kill to live. These are the ginger, the mustard in the middle, and the soy sauce <laughs> for the... For the Suzy wrap, this is a Suzy wrap. You have carrot, cucumber, ginger, shite, mushroom, you know, powder, and rice. Okay, there you are. Go enjoy. Normally people eat the melon and the vegan ham first. But it doesn't matter, you can put all on the plate and then eat whatever you want. Enjoy. Food, huh? Yeah, and you have uh, the ice popsicle. I made it from fruit. It's uh, ice. All of them. All of them mm. are popsicle. Sava, good. Yeah. Good with soy sauce or without. <laughs> You can add soy sauce, mustard, you know, mm -hmm. and the ginger if you prefer a sharper taste, more tasty. Don't give to dog yet, okay? Okay. I'll make some for them later. They're adorable. <laughs> yeah, I know they are. <laughs> Just because the one I made for you mostly have ginger, so I don't think they like it. I'm going to make different for them later on. Oh, you check out which one don't have ginger, you can give them. It's too sharp, but they don't like it. They're adorable, no? Yeah. And they'll love you too big. <laughs> friendly. Mm -hmm. Friendly like angels. Give you toys and all that. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You didn't even know you. You bring toys to you. <laughs> yeah. And bring bone even. Nyla bone. Tell me which one better? The melon or the... I like seaweed with melon. <laughs> like, like melon. They're both really good. Those good. Are good yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> it's banana. That's peach. That's orange. <laughs> And you have pear also. Yeah. That's pear that you got there. Yes. Okay. Tell me if it's good. I've never seen it done like this. <laughs> Perfect, no? Yes. Tastes good or not? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tell you. I'm full of ideas. Vegan is fantastic, really, yeah? Gale free, blood free, animal free, karma free. And you enjoy so much, huh? Yes. I bet all the kids will love this, no? no. The fish like this, no? Mm -hmm. Very simple, not much, yeah? And don't cost a lot. Mm -hmm. Altogether, this will cost maybe fifteen dollars, yeah? Mm. And it tastes so good, no? And fresh, yeah. yeah. All the ice cream trucks need to have these. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, they will have to ask me for patent rights. <laughs> I'm going to charge them a fortune. Royalty. Royalty. Big, big time. And then I use the money for the poor people who doesn't have food. Nobody try the watermelon popsicle? Well, you know already anyway. It's similar to the instant sorbet that I made. It's just on the sticks, you know. <laughs> it's like ice cream, eh? Ice popsicle. And for children, they love it more, eh? So convenient, just pick the stick and eat. It's like ice cream. Same fruit, just different. Treat the brain, baby, yes. Treat the eyes, yeah? Mm. Same fruit, yes. Look nicer and you enjoy better. Okay, I'm going to give dog some of this. Ah, you bite it only, you don't take the whole thing. <laughs> okay, hold <both of> you. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, bye, 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 bye. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, like that. That's a good boy. And now I'm happy. It's 
home. Get that don't take those things, just bite, bite. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. All right, have me. Slowly, it's cold. It's icy. Slowly. Yeah, baby. Go slow, happy. Okay, okay, take the whole thing. I don't care. Benny, you want some honey? It was a pleasure to have you with us for a gift of love, simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai on Between Master and Disciples. Stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Good People, Good Works, up next after Noteworthy News. Farewell and God bless. <laughs>